Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I'm gonna go through my October faves and fails. This is a series that I do monthly and I will link my playlist in case you wanna see things that I was loving in previous months. This month for October, the favorite, favorite, favorite thing that I received was a granddaughter. October is my birthday month and she was born the day before my birthday. I, I just, there's no words to describe how much I am in love with this little girl. Her name is Ren. I, of course, would love to show you guys photos, but it's just not my place. I know I've said in other videos. I just feel like you have to be careful on the internet. I'm really lucky on this channel that, you know, most of the people that come on here just have lovely things to say, but I did fairly recently have somebody tell me I look like a plastic drag queen. So having said that, you do, you do just have to be a little bit careful. So I'm not gonna post any pictures of her on here, but she's adorable. And I mean, I would love to, cause I just think there's no cuter baby ever born. But yeah, so my favorite thing for October is that little baby girl. And we are just so in love. We were there last night, brought them some dinner and watched the hockey game with them. I mean, we're Canadian, so watched the hockey game and I just held that little baby girl and oh man, you guys, she is so cute. So cute. Anyways, so that's my favorite thing for October. That could actually just be the end of the video, but I do have a couple of other things. So like I said, it was my birthday day and my husband bought me this. It's, it's like a fanny pack. I don't think they call them fanny packs anymore. You wear them like crossbody. I guess they call it a crossbody bag. You guys, it's a fanny pack. If you were around in the 80s, it's a fanny pack. So I had seen this online from Lululemon and it's, I had wanted some kind of a fanny pack and I saw this online and it's fuzzy. <laughs> and I just fell in love with it. Now, Lululemon stuff's not inexpensive. This wasn't outrageous though. I, I wanna say this was 65 Canadian. I actually haven't used it yet. I got it last week. And then inside it's got some little compartments. Bert, are you gonna cry? Are you gonna, are you gonna whimper through the whole video or? So yeah, I had really wanted this and I'd, I had wanted some kind of crossbody bag, mostly for when I'm out walking the dogs or I take them to the off-leash park. And so I wanted something like this and then inside this was a jewelry box. Let me get closer so you can see it. He got me this little diamond pendant um, from Pandora. So like I do in all these videos, I'll link everything down below in case you're curious, but that was the birthday gift I got. And then also as a birthday gift, my mom sent me a Sephora gift card. And so I went on, I, I knew ahead of time, every year she sends me a Sephora gift card and I actually knew what I wanted. I had seen this set. Now this cream is my favorite body cream of all time. I've talked about it quite a bit, but it's the Bomb Dia Bright Cream. I'm like, I'm already halfway through this and I've had it. A couple weeks. I just burned through these. So it is a special treat for me because I go through these too quick for this to be my, you know, like I think these are $60 in Canada. The smell of this is my favorite all time scent, but I cannot justify one of these a month at $60 for my exclusive body lotion. This smells like it's it's a spicy scent. So it's and it's very scented. Like this is incredibly fragranced. I put this on at night and I can still smell it on my body when I wake up in the morning. It's very very strong, very fragranced, but I like that in a body lotion. I want to smell that as I go to sleep at night. And so, like I said, this this has been a long time favorite of mine. I've had many of these over the years, but I don't buy them every month, it just because of the cost. I don't even know how to describe it. It very much reminds me of like the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. It's this fruity spiciness that I really, really love. And the lotion itself is lovely. Like it really hydrates my dry skin and I love it. And so they have a bunch of scents out, sets out right now for Christmas. And so it came with a big tub of the cream and then it came with a like deluxe size of this AHA BHA body wash, which this is empty, but I love this. And this, I probably got 10 days of use out of this. Now, I'm not someone who likes a body wash. I prefer a bar soap, but I really, really enjoyed this. Of course, it's a scent I love. I needed very little, it really went a long way, and it just was nice and sudsy, and I really, really enjoyed that. And then it also came with one of the body mists. I haven't really used this, to be honest, because 
when I'm going to bed at night, I put this on and I feel like that's more than enough fragrance and I don't necessarily want to spray my pajamas with this. And it's not a scent that I, not that I wouldn't wear it in the day, but I'm going to talk about another perfume that I've been wearing in the day. So I haven't used this a ton. I'm sure I will. And just such a great little set, especially if you're looking for Christmas gifts. And right now the, I mean, depending on your level, but the Sephora sales on. So, you know, if you're Rouge, you could potentially get 20% off this. I think the set was $65. So, you know, a little bit more than you would pay for the cream alone. And I got those two products. So there again, though, they do have quite a few sets. If you're wondering what's on my lips, it's this from NARS. What are these called? Soft matte, velvet matte lip pencils. I just thought because my hair was kind of slicked back and my makeup's kind of plain, it might be nice to have sort of a bold lip on. I love these. If you're looking for a really nice lip crayon, these are, they, they, they're not drying. It is definitely a velvet matte feel and it just it wear it's easy to wear i think this is like i think i got this like up with a points perk or something it's like a deluxe size i don't think this is the full size but i love this formula and i think this is such a pretty color what is this cruella cruella is the color i have on we'll see is that on my teeth <laughs> not yet not yet <laughs> Okay, like I said, October is my birthday month. And so if you are a member of the Sephora points program, depending on your level, I'm Rouge. And so this was one of the Rouge gifts. You get a birthday gift every year, but depending on your level, there's different gifts you can pick. And this was from Nest. I just thought it was something different. There was lots of makeup things. Like I think there was a Laura Mercier caviar eye stick with a powder. There was the hair. I want to say there was like a a bunch of hair stuff there was a whole bunch of things but i wanted to give this nest stuff a try and i'm so glad i did so it came with a candle and this is in grapefruit just a little mini candle it's cute i mean that certainly is not my favorite and then it came with a rollerball perfume it's just a regular rollerball perfume in the scent indigo it's also not my favorite but the third thing in the little kit was this rollerball oil. I love a perfume oil. I feel like there's something so incredibly alluring or sexy about a perfume oil. It's one of those things where if you've never used a perfume oil, it sort of just envelops as you are moving through your day. No, that's maybe not the right word, but when you spray a perfume on your body, I usually spray it on my clothes and because i just find it lasts longer on my clothing and i feel like when people spray perfume on their clothing quite often when you come into contact with that scent it can be a bit of a wall like oh there's there's the scent but with a perfume oil what i do so first of all this is in the scent seville orange and again it's kind i don't i'm not a big fan of orange scents but there is something about this it's orangey and again, it's got a bit of spice to it, which I really love. Now it's so tiny, but you can see I've used almost half of this already. And what I do is I just put it on my kind of parts of my body that get warm. So I will dab it and then I will dab it. And I typically put a little bit, you know, down the middle of my chest and I'll put a little bit in the crook of my arms and how I feel like a perfume oil works different than a perfume is it's so soft and subtle and you have to get close I think to smell it and it's it's just sexy like there's just something sexy about this scent and it becoming a little more pronounced if I get warm or I'm sweating a little bit I love this I absolutely love this and it's such a tiny little thing right and the, the whole set I wasn't that thrilled with but this made it all worth it. And I did I did get this as my birthday gift, so I didn't I didn't pay for it or anything, but I'm loving this and I'm wearing this every single day and I just can't get enough of it. I just I love a perfume oil. I forgot how much I loved a perfume oil until I got that one. Okay, a couple more things I have purchased. So very early in the month of October, I went and I picked up another one of the Hourglass Scattered Lights. Now I already had the shade Ray. I loved it and I wore it for months and months and months and it's just my favorite. This is in the shade Smoke. So it's the newest one in my collection. It is what I have on my eyes today. I love these scattered lights. Like this has become the only thing that I am wearing, even more than the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize, which I do love. And Oyster Pearl, 
I love. But for some reason, I don't know if I can get in here, you guys, because my nail is a bit too long. Let's see if I can pick a little bit up. It's a very, very soft shadow, and I just go in on a flat brush, and I spread it out, and I feel like it adds a very little bit of color, like a, a beautiful, smoky, coppery color. Let me see if I can build that up a little bit with shimmer and i love that so that's it there look at that shimmer i love it i would get more of these but honestly they're all kind of very similar like i didn't need smoke because i had ray i'm not sure really there's enough of a difference between the shades to warrant you know having multiples however i'm absolutely loving this in the sale i really wanted to pick up the charlotte tilbury new single shadows the ones that come in that little square compact and they're kind of jeweled on the outside what was the name of the one i wanted chocolate something maybe but anyways it's been sold out i should have grabbed it when it first came on but it's been sold out for weeks now so i didn't pick up that i did i did pick up a shadow in the sephora sale wait for the sephora haul video but anyways this has been a love like i've worn this almost every day since i since i picked it up in early october so absolutely loving these next time you're in a sephora go see if you like this formula because i feel like it's definitely glittery and not everybody I think is maybe gonna love that. But for me, this the, this formula is just perfection right now. I love these scattered lights from Hourglass. And then another product that I picked up, so I am always on the hunt for drugstore hair care that is more affordable than picking it up off Sephora. So this is a this is from Hask. Not familiar with that brand, and it's the Biotin Boost 5-in-1 Leave-In Spray. It thickens, it detangles, and it has thermal protection. What else does it say? Thickens, adds body, thermal protection, detangles, prevents breakage, and controls frizz. I grabbed this at the grocery store, actually. I had been looking for a product like this just at the local drugstores that I go to, and I couldn't find anything. I don't know if it's just where I'm at that they don't carry detangling sprays or thermal protectors, but I've had no luck finding that local to me. And now there are some on Sephora that I really like, but I just was hoping to spend less. I want to say this was $10, and so far, I'm loving this. Like, I love the smell. I love... Yeah, it's it definitely has, like, a nice, fresh, perfumey scent. It almost has, like, a essential oil-type smell to it. I... I do think I got this more in the natural aisles, so maybe this is a natural brand. I'm not sure. I really don't know anything about this. It's made with biotin, collagen, and coffee seed oil. But anyways, it smells really nice. It has kind of a herbally fresh scent. It detangles my hair really, really well. It doesn't leave it oily or greasy. It doesn't weigh it down. It styles well after, and it's got the thermal protection in there. So I've really been enjoying this, so I wanted to mention it in case you're looking for something you know, at a more of a drugstore price point. I mean, my favorite product like this from Sephora is by Dry Bar, and it's the Prep Rally. I love that. But I want to say it's 20 or $25. So, but again, I love it, but I wanted to try to find something a little bit cheaper. And so far, I'm really, really enjoying this. Okay, and then I wanted to talk about my October BoxyCharm items, so I thought I would save those till the end. I'm not going to talk about all five products I got, but three of them have been standouts for good and bad reasons. <laughs> the first thing I got was from St. Lux, and this is a setting spray, and it just seems like this. Not at all fancy, it's like this kind of cheap looking plastic bottle but I've been absolutely loving this. It has this really nice mister. I have it on today. It just smells fresh and clean. The mister is nice, and it makes my skin feel really nice, and it adds a bit of illumination. What does it say? It's a microfine mist, helps your skin to retain moisture and set your makeup with a glowy finish, and absolutely it does that. I have really been loving this. I can't remember how much this was. I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it. It is such a small bottle. Like it's 2.6 ounce, so it's really, really tiny. And when I linked this in my video, it might've been 20 or $25. Like, no, 
but I would be happy if I saw it at a pop-up sale for a few dollars or even five dollars because I am really enjoying it. But again, I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it because it's a setting spray and I feel like there's lots like this, but I just wanted to update you. I've been using this about a week and a half and I'm really, really loving it. And then another product that I got in my October BoxyCharm base box was from Wander Beauty and it's this double date eyeshadow. So on the bottom you have this cream shadow and then on top you have like a shimmer topper and then there is a little mirror in there too so I will show you what these look like so I like this cream base on the bottom now in here it looks like it's gonna be champagne in color but watch when I put it here no it's actually quite a deep sort of coppery color and so I really really like this and I've used it a few times now of course I have that new one from hourglass that I'm obsessed with so I haven't used this as much as I should but I have used it a few times and this cream base on the bottom I really like however this glittery topper is I don't I don't like it for my mature eyes I feel like it really accentuates so that's them there let me put that here so you can see it I feel like it really accentuates my texture Sorry, I don't know what is wrong with that dog. <laughs> she, she needs nothing. So I'm loving the cream base, but I'm not so much love, loving that shimmery topper. Again, I think if you maybe don't have crepey upper lids, it's maybe fine and you would enjoy it. But for me, the cream base works really well, but that just really makes my upper lids look very, very crepey. I am still playing with this. I've, again, I've only used it a handful of times, so hard to have my final thoughts on it, but I wanted to update you on that. And then also in my box, and I was very excited to get it, I got this Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo Cream Blush and Highlighter. Now, anytime you get anything, you know, Natasha Denona is a pretty high-end brand. So anytime I get anything Natasha Denona in a box, I'm excited. And I had seen these duos on Sephora. Albie, come here. Okay, I gave them cookies. Maybe she will stop crying. <laughs> no guarantees. So anyways, I was very excited to get it. But here's what I'm finding. Can you see when I tip that? This cream blush has a gold shift to it. I, I think you can see that. And I don't love that. Now again, I feel like it's just a preference thing. Some people are gonna really, really love this. It is incredibly balmy, but every time I use it, I feel like my cheeks look shimmery and not so much blushed let me put it here it's pretty it's not that it's not pretty it just for me i i prefer more of a matte or a dewy look as opposed to a shimmery blush look and this definitely gives me a shimmery blush look. So again, I've had this about a week and a half, so I do have to play with it, but so far I'm not really loving it. And then this highlighter, I just, again, for me, I feel like that's maybe too deep of a shade for one, and it does sit a little heavy on my mature skin and accentuate my texture a little bit. So. I'm not loving this like I was hoping I would. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely see that kind of gold shift in it. And maybe if you had a bit of a deeper skin tone, this would probably be gorgeous. Or if you had a skin tone that maybe looked better with gold tones on it. I'm not sure I do. So yeah, very excited to get it, but I haven't loved it as much as I thought or was hoping that I would. So there you go, you guys. There's my faves and fails for October. What have you guys been loving this month? I mean, for me, it's been the grandbaby, right? Every day, all day has just been about the grandbaby. But here's a couple other things I've been enjoying as well. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch one of my videos. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, if you would subscribe, that would be amazing. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.